This grisly murder of a 35 year old woman by the name of Christina Yuna Lee sparking outrage in here in New York City. Police say a man followed her into her apartment in Chinatown, that's lower Manhattan, and stabbed her in her apartment 40 times. The accused was arrested seven times in the past seven years and repeatedly released without bail. Former NYPD Commissioner Howard Safer with me here. Sir, good morning to you. You remember this town very well. You know how it runs, how it works well, and how it doesn't. What do you make of this crime? Well, unfortunately, it's the new normal. What's happening is we have a revolving door system of justice, no bail. Uh, repeat offenders are being let out to do exactly the same crimes they've done in the past. And this tragedy is just another example of many that I've seen in the last uh, year or actually the last four or five years under de Blasio. Mm. Sometimes there are crimes that, for lack of a better phrase, stick out more than others. And as a result, they draw attention and change comes as a result. You think about the grisly details in this murder. Stabbed 40 times in her own room. Police come. This guy's hiding under the bed using a women's voice to try and act as if nothing was wrong. Clearly, he's mental deranged. He got inside the building. Maybe it was a sex crime. Maybe it was a, a, an Asian crime targeting Asian women. Uh, but, but, but sometimes there are incidents that we cannot erase or look past, and as a result, change is brought because of that. Is this one of them? Well, I hope that's the case, but it does not seem that we're moving in that direction. We have a district attorney who has made it clear that he's not going to prosecute uh, criminals, that he is more in, in involved in social justice than in uh, justice for criminals. We have a no bail law, which lets people out. You know, I just uh, noticed in the paper this morning a shoplifter arrested 167 times. I mean, that just points out what's wrong with the criminal justice system when somebody's arrested 167 times and is out on the street. We need to reform bail and make sure that judges can hold people in jail if they're a danger to the, to the community. Okay, okay it's but not here's, happening. here's the catch, though. The, the new mayor, Eric Gatton, has been on the job a month. He went to Albany on Monday and met with Democrats up there trying to get them to change the bail reform, reform laws, uh, and he was turned down. Well, that's because of the leftist uh, social uh, agenda in Albany. And, you know, you have to remember, Mayor Adams, who is a former police officer who knows how to police, but the police are only one-third of the criminal justice system. If we have a liberal district attorney who doesn't prosecute, we have no bail laws, we have people emptying the prisons because they don't think people should be in jail, we have to go back to what made New York the safest large city in America in the uh, late 90s and 2000s. We have to go back to stop, question, and frisk. We have to go back to assertive policing. We have to restore uh, qualified immunity to police officers so they're not afraid to do their jobs. We have to go back to what worked, and it's not working now. And if we don't change things, New York is going to go right back to the bad old days of the 70s and 80s. Oh, we don't want that. A couple of things here. Hate crimes against Asian Americans in New York City on screen call for number one uh, in 2020, up 900%. Um, in two thousand, Sorry, 220. In 2021, 4,300. That's ridiculous. Uh, here's Jen Psaki asked about that at the White House. Um, interesting answer. Roll this. We've seen this rise, unfortunately, because of uh, hate-filled rhetoric and language around the, uh, the origins of the pandemic. Um, and that is something that Asian Americans across the country have been feeling. Is that right? That sound right to you? It doesn't sound right to me. What sounds right to me is that criminals who would commit crimes against Asians uh, feel that they're empowered to do it because they're not going to be held accountable. It has, I don't think it has anything to do with COVID. And I think that's just a simple excuse to try and explain something that's out of control. Yeah. Howard Safer, thank you, sir. We hope we can get it straightened out with some faith. I do, too. Right. Thanks. Thank, th thank you for coming on today.